The iPhone 9 gets ready for its big debut and the iPhone 12 trailer that I wish would become a reality. Let's get right to the core of this week's Apple News and Rumors. It's still early in the year, but the rumors of the iPhone 12 are already starting to materialize, at least in people's minds. A new trailer published by Concepts iPhone gives us a glimpse of what creator Hassan Kaimak envisions for the next iPhone. And it delivers on a lot of the big rumors we've been hearing. But the truth is, there's also a whole lot of wishful thinking going on in this video. First off, that notchless screen. There's also that USB-C charger, new horizontal camera module, and uh, yeah, that keyboard projector would be awesome, but probably not gonna happen. Last week, I asked you guys to envision your perfect iPhone 12, and here are a few highlights. Amrose Stone says he wants a refresh rate of 120, additional lens for 3D augmented reality and 3D printing options, improve the already great cameras and battery, on-screen touch ID, and pen or pencil support. And I love this long wish list from Gabriel De Leon. He says two to three day battery life, smaller notch, iPhone 5S like design, 5G on all countries, ProMotion, reverse wireless charging, USB-C, time of flight sensor, touch and face ID, 45 watt fast charger, higher storage, and no price increase. And Guillermo wants no notch at all, 90 or 144 hertz display, USB-C, better battery life, reverse wireless charging, etc. That notchless screen definitely seems to be high on people's wish lists, but sadly, it's looking less and less likely as time goes on, especially now that the rumor man himself, analyst Ming Chiko, has gone on the record to say that Apple still needs that notch to house the true depth camera used for Face ID. The Apple Watch is also up for a refresh in September, and Apple's latest patent could hold clues about where the company's headed with the smartwatch. A recent patent discovered by Patently Apple shows a Touch ID type sensor on the digital crown to help unlock the watch. The latest watches already house an EKG sensor on the center of the digital crown, so I guess it's gonna be cramming in a lot of tech in that tiny little dial. So this is not the first patent Apple has issued hinting at biometric authentication on the watch, and it's one that I'm hoping will happen sooner rather than later. A previous patent showed a camera on the screen of the watch, either for FaceTime or Face ID. So this week's question comes to be, what would you rather on an Apple watch, Face ID or Touch ID? You know the drill, sound off on the comment section below and we'll be discussing on next week's show. But first, there's a March event looming over our heads. Now there's no official word yet, but rumor has it, Apple's preparing to launch new iPad Pros and that long awaited sequel to the cheaper iPhone SE. In this case, an iPhone SE 2 or an iPhone 9, depending on who you talk to. If you're talking to the case makers, it's an iPhone SE 2. This week, case maker totally, totally went on a limb here and opened up pre-orders for an iPhone SE 2 case on its website. Now we have no way of knowing whether or not Apple gave them some kind of guidance as to the design, but hey, at least they do seem to go along with what we've heard in terms of the rumors, that the iPhone SE 2 will look almost exactly like the late iPhone 8, except with a much faster processor inside. In this case, the same processor that's in the current iPhone 11s. That's a wrap for this week, but I'll be back next Thursday with more Apple Course, so you know the drill. Ring that bell to get your notifications. You can also stay on top of all the latest Apple news and rumors on CNET.com.